Today's learning intention is to form the equations of horizontal lines, vertical lines and parallel lines. Our skills today are rearranging equations, working with fractions and working with integers. Let's recap in what we already know about horizontal and vertical lines. This diagram shows two lines. The blue line is a horizontal line and the green line is a vertical line. First of all, let's look at the blue line. If we look at individual points along the line, we've got the point minus 6, 7, the point 2, 7 and the point 10, 7. So what do all these points have in common? As we go along the line from left to right, the x coordinate is changing, it's increasing, but the y coordinate has stayed the same. The y coordinate of each of these points is y equals 7. It's cutting the y axis at y equals 7, so the equation of this line is y equals 7. Now let's look at the vertical line, the green line, again by looking at a couple of points going along the line. We have the points 5 minus 4, 5, 2, 5, 9. In this case, the y coordinates are changing, but the x coordinate is always the same. The x coordinate is always 5, and that line is cutting the x axis at x equals 5, so the equation of the green line is x equals 5. Here are some more examples. Take a moment to pause this video and can you name the equations of these lines for practice? So let's look at the answers. The green line is a horizontal line. It has the equation y equals 5 because it's cutting the y-axis at y equals 5. The red line is another horizontal line. It's cutting the y-axis at y equals 1. So the equation of the red line is y equals 1. The purple line is a vertical line. It's cutting the x-axis at x equals negative 4, so it has the equation x equals minus 4. The orange line is cutting the x-axis at x equals 9, so it has the equation x equals 9. You also should know that horizontal lines have a gradient equal to 0. They're flat, whereas vertical lines have an undefined gradient. They are vertically straight up and down. Let's recap on what we know about parallel lines. Take a moment to look at this blue line on the diagram. Can you work out the equation of the blue line? Take a moment to look at the points on the line. What's the gradient of the blue line? Where does it cut the y-axis? So using the form y equals mx plus c, the equation of the blue line is y equals minus a half x plus 1. Now we can draw a line parallel to this line, as shown. The definition of parallel lines are two lines that never meet. They never intersect, they never cross. Parallel lines have equal gradients. So the gradient of this second line is also negative a half. The equation of this second line is y equals negative a half x plus 4. So all we've done is translate the first line. It's no longer cutting at plus 1, it's cutting at plus 4. Example 1. Find the equation of the line parallel to y equals 3 and passing through the point 3, negative 2. So y equals 3 is a horizontal line cutting the y-axis at the point M03. A line parallel to y equals 3 would be another horizontal line. They both have gradient equal to 0. Now I want this new line to pass through the point 3, negative 2, so it's going to have the equation y equals negative 2. Example 2. Find the equation of the line parallel to y minus 5x equals 2 and passing through the point negative 3, 1. Well, I'm going to have to work out the equation of the line y minus 5x equals 2, so I'm going to have to rearrange it. 
So I've got y equals 5x plus 2, which is now in the form y equals mx plus c. From this, I can now read off that the gradient of the first line is n equals 5. So the gradient of my new line is also going to be 5. It's going to be passing through the point minus 3, 1, but I can use the form y minus b equals m brackets x minus a, where in this example a equals minus 3 and b equals 1. So by substituting in m equals 5, a equals minus 3 and b equals 1, this gives me y minus 1 equals 5 brackets x minus minus 3. I have y minus 1 equals 5x plus 15. And my last step to rearrange into the form ax plus by equals c gives me 5x minus y equals negative 16. Example 3 is a past paper question. Find the equation of the straight line, which is parallel to the line with the equation 2x plus 3y equals 5, and which passes through the point 2 minus 1. Now this question is worth 3 marks. I would like you to pause the video and try this on your own, but here are some helpful hints. Here's the answers we to mark. So we start off with the equation you're given, 2x plus 3y equals 5. We can rearrange that into the form 3y equals minus 2x plus 5. But I need it in the form y equals mx plus c. So I divide by 3, gives me y equals minus 2 thirds x plus 5 over 3. So the gradient of the line we're given is m equals minus 2 thirds. This means that the equation of the line we're looking for, a line parallel to this line, also has the gradient m equals minus 2 thirds. So we now use the point 2 minus 1 to give us a and b. Write the general equation of any straight line, y minus b equals mx minus a. And then we just substitute in m equals minus 2 thirds, a equals 2, and b equals negative 1. That gives us y minus minus 1 equals minus 2 thirds brackets x minus 2. So y plus 1 equals minus 2 thirds brackets x minus 2. Now to simplify this equation, I'm going to multiply through by the denominator of the fraction. In this example, it's 3. That gives me 3y plus 3 equals minus 2 brackets x minus 2. 3y plus 3 equals minus 2x plus 4 by multiplying out the brackets. And my final step, 2x plus 3y equals 1, which is in the useful form ax plus by equals 1. To finish off this lesson, I want you to self-assess your progress. Look at your rag status. Are you red, amber or green? So tick underneath. Tick under R if you're not sure, still having problems, and can you identify where those problems are? Are you having problems working with negative numbers? Or is it mainly you have problems rearranging equations? Amber if you think you're doing okay, and green if you're really coping well with this topic. If you have any problems, please see your teacher as soon as possible. So what have we learned today? Horizontal lines have the general equation y equals b, where b is where the line cuts the y-axis. Vertical lines have the equations x equals a, where a is the point where the line cuts the x-axis. Parallel lines have equal gradients. 
So what have we learned today? To form the equation of a line parallel to another line, remember the steps. Step 1, rearrange the equation into the form y equals mx plus c. From this, identify the gradient. Remember that parallel lines have equal gradients. And then use y minus b equals m brackets x minus a, where a, b are the coordinates of the given point.